All right, welcome back to our Azure VMware Solution Technical Overview Series. In this module, we're going to talk about uh, availability, maintenance, and remediation uh, within AVS. So first up, let's review the AVS service level agreement. Uh, Microsoft guarantees that the service will be available 99.9% .9 of the time, and that applies to the underlying infrastructure supporting AVS and to the AVS management components, which would include vCenter and NSX Manager. Now, to qualify for that SLA, there are a few conditions that customers need to maintain. For clusters with three to five hosts, the number of failures to tolerate must be set to one. For clusters with six or more hosts, the number of failures to tolerate must be set to two. Storage capacity for the cluster must retain at least 25% slack space, and sufficient capacity must exist on the cluster to support the starting of a virtual machine. High availability is built into every level of the system. The Azure infrastructure is designed for end-to-end -end high availability. There's no single point of failure. There's built-in redundancy. And we have built-in protection available for all of the failure modes listed here. From a host monitoring perspective, uh, they are continuously monitored for failures at the infrastructure layer and the vSphere layer. Uh, SREs monitor uh, a number of conditions in the host, including processor status, memory status, connection to power state, hardware fan status, network connectivity loss, hardware system board status, um, errors in the disk of a vSAN host, hardware voltage, temperature status, power status, storage status, and connection failures. There are pre-configured vCenter alarms managed by the AVS control plane. Uh, tenant admins should not edit or delete these alarms as the automated remediation system relies on them. That automated host remediation system is pretty slick. Uh, when failures are detected, hosts are automatically remediated. So a new healthy host is added to your cluster from a pool. Um, if possible, the failed host will be placed in maintenance mode and vMotion can migrate VMs to other available hosts in the cluster. And then after evacuation, the failed host would be removed from the cluster. If the failed host can't be placed in maintenance mode, it'll be removed from the cluster and VMs will be restarted by VMware HA. AVS maintenance, uh, service issues, planned maintenance, and related advisories are published through uh, Service Health in the Azure portal. Scheduled maintenance time is excluded from the total uh, available uptime calculations, and updates and upgrades are coordinated by proactive SRs and would occur during scheduled maintenance windows. Private cloud components are upgraded as part of a bundle to keep the software within one version of the most recent software bundle released from VMware. Updates include drivers, software on the network switches, and firmware on the bare metal nodes. You'll be notified before and after patches are applied to your private clouds. Uh, Microsoft will also work with you to schedule the maintenance window before applying updates or upgrades to your private cloud. Some of the software updates might include patches, uh, security patches or bug fixes released by VMware. Uh, updates, which would be minor version changes of a VMware stack component, or upgrades, which would be major version changes of a component. AVS is delivered, sold, and supported by Microsoft. Microsoft is that consistent single point of contact for support. VMware works with Microsoft to certify AVS as a VMware platform running on Azure. Microsoft provides support to AVS customers for all issues. Microsoft takes ownership of all support issues affecting the AVS stack, which would include the Azure bare metal servers and networking infrastructure that AVS runs on, and also the VMware components of AVS, uh, vSphere, vCenter, vSAN, NSXT, and HCX. If a support issue is related to one of the VMware attached services, such as you know, the vRealize, SD-WAN, NSX, ALB, Site Recovery Manager, Tanzu, um, the customer will be routed to VMware for support. And here we have the Azure VMware Solution Shared Responsibility Matrix. Uh, management is a shared responsibility. Uh, deployment, configuration, and management of virtual machines, including operating systems and applications, is the customer's responsibility. Uh, this would include VMware tools and virtual machine hardware compatibility. Uh, Post-deployment, the customer is responsible for customized configurations of vCenter Server and NSXT, such as defining different types of policies, profiles, uh, network segments, those sorts of things. Deployment and configuration of the virtual infrastructure components are the responsibility of Microsoft, including lifecycle operations, which would be upgrades, adding new nodes. Uh, deployment, configuration, lifecycle, and management of the physical infrastructure is solely the responsibility of Microsoft. All right, to recap, we went over availability, maintenance, remediation, and the support model. And that concludes our Azure VMware Solution Technical Overview Series. Uh, just to recap in general, uh, we talked about introduction to Azure VMware Solution, uh, AVS deployment overview, storage and networking options on AVS, operational considerations on AVS, and VMware Solutions supported on AVS. If you'd like to learn more about Azure VMware Solution, we've uh, compiled a list of resources here. There are links to uh, websites, documentations, Microsoft Learn Paths, uh, the on-demand library of VMworld content, and links to our hands-on labs. Thank you for spending the last nine modules with us.